Everyone Brave is Forgiven is based on the true story of my grandparents who met only nine times before they were um, separated by the Second World War. I would never have written this book if I hadn't come across a big trove of letters written from my grandfather to my grandmother when he was stationed in Malta and she was stuck on the home front in London. I did two kinds of research for Everyone Brave is Forgiven. The first, and this is something I always do, is I really live through the novel. So I put myself on the rations that soldiers would have been on. I put myself on the rations that people in the home front would have been on. I went out to Malta. I went to all of the places where my grandfather was stationed during the war. I talked to all the local people. I asked them very detailed questions about their lives and they talked to me about it. So the first research I did was going out there, putting my body through it, and trying to take myself to the physical locations in the book because I think that's my duty as a storyteller. And the other kind of research I did was book work and this was the most surprising element and it's what gave me the key to the book because I discovered that during the evacuation of children from London, there were a lot of kids who were forgotten, a lot of kids who were sent back from the countryside to the danger of the city because the countryside didn't really accept them. And these were kids who had handicaps, or these were kids from racial minorities. There were a lot of children who had to be schooled and housed in London, despite the fact um, that all of the other kids had been evacuated. I'm writing about characters who are on the extreme edges of a war, people who aren't normally included in the narrative of a World War II story, because I think that's the truest way to write the story and it's the most interesting way, and it's the way that generates a question that you take home with you at the end of the book and you ask of yourself and you ask of your friends and family. It's a most incredibly realistic portrayal of what it would have felt like to live through a war, um, together with the uncertainty of not knowing what was going to happen.